guys, and welcome to another week of WoW Weekly with Mist. And for those that haven't noticed, because I've been, I've had so much news going on lately, I haven't had a chance to tell you, but I've been changing up the transmog every week in these videos pretty much since, since, um, well, all year, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I just haven't had a chance to tell you why. Uh, so I thought it would be cool to do a little friendly transmog contest. Uh, if you don't want to take part in it, you don't have to. But if you do, then I thought we would showcase it in a following video, which of course would be like the next video. This week's theme will be green. And uh, this is what I got going on. And yeah, if you want, you can um, you can send me a picture of your character in any green theme. Uh, let me know the name of your character and, of course, the username you use on YouTube, so that you know we can put two and two together. And uh, and yeah, so that's how that's how the videos are gonna be. Every week, I will have this new transmog theme we'll do at the beginning of the video and discord link is in the description and you just go there and don't post it in a channel actually post it in a direct message to me uh that way it's a surprise to everyone in the next week's video right that is that let's uh let's start this news video uh so for this week's events we have dark moon fair that is going on uh, so that is great for some leveling and some rep. Uh, too bad you can't do that in Remix. Not that you really need a buff, like another buff in Remix. But I, I guess I'm just going to say, on the topic of leveling and stuff, I would play more Remix if I could take, like, a level 50 character of mine and just make it a Remix character for the three months. Uh, I'm just going to say, I don't really have the need for new characters from level like 10 to 70. All the characters I'm currently leveling are higher. They are like, they are current characters and the game is 20 years old. I have at least one of everything on every side plus some more on some random servers just because I I I love making characters and I'm a I'm an account full player so anything I would want to level is already existing somewhere uh so yeah I I kind of wish there was that option in Remix it's a nice it's a nice uh, little leveling event, but it does a person like me no good because I'm not going to go scrap a level 50 who has a bunch of stuff on them just to, you know, go level it faster, you know? Like, I'd rather, I'd rather even if it's, you know, well, to be fair, I have chosen to level it slower by keeping it over on retail right now because I have things on that character that I don't want deleted, you know? So, uh, so yeah. Anyway, sidetrack, I just kind of, you know, I wish there was maybe an option where you can, you know, just lock your character in there but still be able to kind of do stuff over there with whatever character you want. Um, anyway, the rest of the ev weekly events... <laughs> Um, on the topic of Remix, Remix is still going on, and it will end on August 19th, so still got tons of time. Uh, the PvP brawl this week is Deep Wind Dunk. Uh, time a-walking this week will be Kata. Thousand Boat Bash is a little micro-event that will run on Thursday and Friday, also worth mentioning that the new trading post is here. So June brought a bunch of new items. I did a short little two minute, three minute clip of all those items, but I will I'll post it here while I'm blabbing. And I was 
I was secretly hoping June would be really good because for for those that uh, I know a lot of you guys have been watching me long enough that you probably remember this. Um, but for for those that don't, June is my birthday month and I always hope that all these good things happen in June. And I'm going to be talking about that because I change content for a week due to stuff I like to do for my birthday. Uh, I will mention that later on in the video. Uh, some of you guys could probably guess what it is because I do it every year. Uh, that'll be discussed later. Uh, so that is the weekly events. Let's get into news. Okay, so the first bit of news is that Krusty Crawler is on the shop now for $15. Uh, this was a traveler's log mount. And I said it before because we saw a traveler's log reward actually in the trading post for you to buy last month. And I had made a comment of it was either last month or the month before, actually. And I had made a comment of how the Traveler's Log rewards don't seem to be unique, I guess. And this definitely confirms it for them to be selling a Traveler's Log reward on the shop. So the next topic, Mop Remix, of course, because we always have tons to say on Mop Remix every week. Because this is the most fucked up event WoW has ever put together. It is so crazy the amount of nerfs and buffs and just errors that are discovered every week and every time they nerf something the community goes and hunts down a new thing. <laughs> And that's so funny because then that becomes the next thing that like Wowhead, you know, reports on. And I'm not going to say that Blizzard doesn't know about these things unless Wowhead reports on them. But I will say it speeds up their process because when Wow reports on them, then everyone knows that Blizzard knows. And yeah, like I, I will say that much. So it's just hilarious because there's just so much broken shit in Remix every single week. I feel like by the time they're done nerfing and buffing everything, it'll be August, you know? <laughs> I, I just have a feeling that it's going to be like this every single week, except maybe it'll stop um, maybe it'll stop soon, um, because of the beta, you know, people's attention will probably go over there, but, um, but yeah, anyway, Mop Remix news. Uh, Tusks of Manoroth, the cosmetic, uh, is bugged, I guess. It says that only learnt by plate wearers. Um, personally, I always expect that, you know, I know we're about to enter a world where you can collect everything and it's going to take, it's going to take me a long time to get used to that. While I love that they're doing that, it's been 20 years, so it's going to be, you know, it's going to take a bit for me to get used to the fact that we can. However, we can't yet, really. So a lot of the time when they do shit like this, like even the trading post, the trading post, you can buy everything on one character, basically. But I don't. If something is like for a hunter, I'll hop over to a hunter and buy the item. That's just the way my mind works because that's how the game's been for so many years, right? So I never thought it was a bug, actually, the Tusks of Manoroth. I totally thought you had to be on a plate where to purchase it. Yeah, so, um, or to at least learn it. Uh, so they, they did say that it's not intended and will be fixed in the future, allowing any character to learn the cosmetic. So anyway, the last we really heard about this was like five days ago when Blizzard said that they are working on a bug fix. Uh, so maybe on Tuesday 
we will see that be fixed. But yeah, there's been no confirmation that they have fixed it yet. But it's been it's been a bug for a week. So probably I would I would think tomorrow it's probably fixed. A little Warlock info on Remix, but apparently your Doomguard has some pretty insane scaling in Remix and literally can carry a raid. Also, there was a bit of a easy mode this week or this past week where deleting jewelry would equal better raid scaling and you would kill bosses a lot faster on uh, heroic and mythic raids. So here's here's a little chart to kind of like show you what that really means a little more in depth, but you can see, you know, basically what the boss's health and damage would be at certain item levels. Dark Animus in Throne of Thunder has been nerfed. There's a few other nerfs that you will see in this box as well. Okay, so that covers the Remix news. And now for some War Within news. Uh, the War Within beta will be this week. So it's going to start on June 5th. So that'll be Wednesday. Uh, basically, as long as you have a copy of the game, you will be able to get into the beta. That's kind of what one of the perks was so you're gonna see a lot of people running around uh yeah there's a lot of people that have the expansion pre-ordered so i thought i'd showcase this because i thought this looked super cute uh this is a grill that you can see there's a burger on there and yeah it just looks super cute so just one of many uh, of the, um, you know, models that you'll see in the game. Also, icons. Uh, here's the War Within Keystone Master for Season 1. So it is the Diamond Mech Suit. And it will also work with your Sky Riding, which is Dragon Riding's new name in War Within. There's also the Plunder Lord Crocolisk Mount. So this is a Plunderstorm themed item, but it does not confirm another version of Plunderstorm. It's going to be on the trading post. So, so yeah, um, before some people get too excited, yeah, it's not confirming another Plunderstorm yet. Uh, I'm sure we will see another Plunderstorm one day, though. As well as the remix that's going on. You know, they will always bring back things that show hype. So the mount is showing as 600 Trader Tender. And there is a couple of versions of them. We do see four on here. And then there's the Plunderstorm Crab Pet that resembles Fathom. Looks a lot like that design. And this is Claudius. It'll be 330 Trader Tender. And then we have these boots that were also data mined, which will be 40 Trader Tender. Also, there's going to be some new map filters for the warbands. Uh, I, I like that this will be a thing. I feel like in Dragonflight, the map got very crazy with all these different quest icons on them. So, yeah, it's nice to see that maybe there'll be a little less of that. It gets better as you do things, but as like a fresh level 70, this is what your map looks like. So it's a little, little nuts in the city. So this is what the filter will look like. And yeah, yeah, very nice. For the most part, I'll probably just only have quest objectives triggered. And then the last piece of news I have for you guys this week has to do with the human racial. A while back, I had mentioned that it was being removed. Um, that was the racial that allows uh, humans to have 10% rep gain. And we found out what it's being replaced with. So it's being re replaced with a racial called No Place Like Home. And basically, it grants you a lower cooldown and a second charge to your hearthstone. 
I like the idea of a second charge to, to the Hearthstone. I feel like I have so many Hearthstones now, though, that it doesn't matter. Like, when my regular one's on cooldown, then I use my Dalaran one. If my Dalaran one is on cooldown, then I'll use, you know, I have a couple of others that are, like, per use type Hearthstones. And then if all fails, I just, I'm a druid. I just port myself to the class hall in Legion, right? And that's just always available. There's really no cooldown on that. So, so I've never felt a need for that, but that is a druid and you can't be a human druid. So for a human, I guess that is, uh, that is a cool perk and yeah. So you guys will have to let me know if you if you main a human player, what would you rather have the 10% rep buff or a second charge to your hearthstone? Okay, guys, so for my goals and accomplishments, uh, the only real thing I did this week for goals was that I did finally get Nat Peggle at best friend. I was gonna wait till Dark Moon for the extra rep, but I had so many tokens that I was able to just do it right there and then. Uh, so, yay! After all these years, Nat Peggle is finally a best friend. And, uh, and yeah, that, that was uh, a bit of a haul. It's actually a lot easier once you <laughs> realize how easy it is. I don't know why I put that off for so long, uh, especially since nowadays there's multiple ways to get rep with him like in the beginning his rep came with mop actually you know <laughs> since we're you know been talking about remix that's kind of where his rep first came in and then the second time you could get rep with him was uh wad right so it's like yeah i held it off so long and it was just it was actually kind of easy and i've I did that rep because I've been farming coins for the mount. You need best friend status anyway to get that mount. So yay, the only thing we really need is the coins now. And I'm very close. I got like 80 and we need 100 for the mount. Um, but that won't end that farm. There's a couple of pets and a hat and a fishing rod, I believe, that I want from there, which with the mount included would bring us to 250 coins total that I'd need. I I have pondered maybe the idea of just buying the, the pets with gold, but it's actually not a bad farm. You know, I, I am totally the person that would slap down gold for pets to take out a farm that I've been doing for a while, but it's not bad. It's not horrible. And both pets would be the same amount of time that the, the mount has taken. So, yeah. So, in other words, you might see me continuing to fish after the mount for a bit in those mount farming streams. Even although it won't actually be for a mount. Uh, that's how I usually end those streams. And, yeah, I think I'm going to just keep going until I have everything off that vendor. Okay, guys, I'm at the auction house. I just went to Nat Peggle to double check the names of those pets. And they're actually kind of cheap right now on the auction house. Usually they go for like 300k each. So that's why I wasn't willing, like I just figured I'd farm the coins. But they're both under 100k right now. So I think I want to just purchase them. I have them favorited because I always was checking every so often to see when the price would drop. We're going to have to get Landshark right away. There's only one. So yeah, but 78k and 65k. I, I say it's worth it because like I said, they are 50 coins each and while while the fishing has been easy, I do still have like the hat and the fishing pole, right? So the less of a farm, the better, because you know, there are other things I could be doing in WoW. 
So I think we are gonna buy these and lessen lessen the farm by like a day or two, right? Yeah. So um. So yeah, let's buy them. So at least it's a twenty-five. So that's nice. Okay. So I'll buy you. And where was the other one? Sea calf. Oh, nice. I love when they're already leveled. Not that it's much to level them, but... Okay, I will buy you. Okay. Done. So, I'll just go show you the vendor. Um in case I didn't with the past footage. But here's Nat. And... And there's there's the pets that I just bought. So we're gonna save us a hundred. You can see I have 80 on me right now. And uh, I do a bit here and there. Because fishing, I love fishing, but fishing can put you to sleep, <laughs> you know? So I, I I can't fish for, I would say, longer. I think three hours is my max, where I can, like, sit there for three hours and fish. But after that, I'm, like, starting to doze off. <laughs> yeah. So, as you can see in the vendor list, I do have five items in there. So this does knock out two of those. Uh, once I have another 20 coins, I will, of course, buy the mount. And then we have to fish up more coins to buy the fishing pole and the hat. So I think you could probably see why I would choose to buy the pets, even although I could have easily farmed the coins. Um, just because I, I still got a bit of a farm ahead of me. Not too, too bad. Like, if I really dedicated and felt kind of awake enough to do it, I could probably polish off the last, like, I need another 70 currency to get everything, right? I could polish that off in one sitting, but if I'm kind of tired and I don't make it, then we're looking at two. So two, two more let's just say weeks because I only do this in the mount farming stream at the end uh, so yeah another couple of weeks by, by the end of June probably at some point I'll have all these items so yeah so that's that and that one is almost complete I actually ended the recording without even showing you me learning the pets <laughs> so here we go Almost forgot to do that. Okay, so... Sea calf. Land shark. A part of me wonders, you know, because it's... Should I just buy those two for the 50 and then we... The only thing left is the mount. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. It makes more sense for the mount farming streams. I'm just gonna say, like, it, it'll look weird if I'm farming coins for a hat in a mount running or mount farming stream. Just saying. So, yeah. Let, let's get even more things in today's video. So, yeah, that's gonna... <laughs> It's gonna take take us down a bit, but we should still we'll be at like 30. 30 over a hundred. Okay, so we have the pets. Um these are this book doesn't matter anymore, and I have that, but like everyone does, not Biggie. Like these items don't matter. Um but So we'll grab the fishing pole. And the drinking hat. Okay. See you around. I have to apply the fishing pole. Okay, so... Nice, it's collected. The relog helped. Okay. Okay, now 
I I really do prefer my my legion fishing pole, so we gotta get it back in there. I gotta find it now though since we logged out. It's not at the top below the list anymore. There it is. Okay, so Okay, you are back in there. The only the only fishing tool I ever use. That's why I don't really go after like fishing tools in Dragonflight. Need something? Okay, so back to our list here and everything is collected except for the mount. So, yay. So that, I guess that's the, you know, it makes me feel better when it's just one last thing. So, yeah. That is done. I feel pretty good about that one. Yeah. I like that the only last thing is the mount. And, uh, yeah. So, so that is still ongoing. But the important part is that he is the proper rep. Because I would have needed that rep nonetheless to get the mount. Um... For anyone that's like hasn't done this farm, uh, you don't really have to worry about that if you want the mount anyway, because like I didn't even have enough currency to get the mount. I was close. I was very close. But you will be best friends with him before you have enough currency to buy the mount. So like either or, you're doing the same technique. Yeah. So it's it's kind of like a rep without trying. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So that was my one and only accomplishment this week in WoW because I've been in Disney Dreamlight this week uh, because that game has a star path that now at the time of doing this video is down to like the last eight days. So yeah. Uh, I'm still not done, but I did put a pretty good dent in this week. Um, and yeah, and because it, we're kind of down to the last few days, I am going to be swapping this week's mount farming stream for Disney uh, just so I have a chance to do it because it is actually kind of a busy week, which brings us into our next thing. June is my birthday month. So um, there's a way I celebrate my birthday every year, and it is done on stream with you guys, and we make it like a week-long bash, which normally isn't me. I'm, I usually will do like, you know, I usually barely even celebrate my birthday, but this one thing happens right before my birthday, and ever since it started happening that way, I've always declared it the way I celebrate my birthday. So, uh... So basically, that is game shows. So this week is the week of game shows. There's a bunch. They, the, there will be um, there will be the Xbox showcase. There's gonna be the PC gaming showcase. Uh, there's um, the Summer Fest that will go on, and. Um, those are like the really popular ones. Um, OTK, I guess, does um, game a gaming show. Uh, I've streamed every single one. Uh, they're newer though, because that's that's a streamer thing, right? These other ones are a little more um, professional, I guess. And um, and so there will be that one as well. So. That's this week of stream. So yeah, this this week is going to be a little different stream wise. Um, like I said, most of you guys will expect it because it's what I do every year around this time. Um, but for those that are new to the channel, yeah, this is this is what I do on this particular week in June every year. <laughs> Normally, I would have mentioned the birthday thing. Um, next week, but the reason I'm mentioning it this week is because the PC gaming show is on Sunday, and I will, of course, be streaming it. Sunday is the day I do the news video. 
So, yeah. And then Monday, there's going to be another short gaming show. And, um, and yeah. So, yeah. Sunday's the day I would normally do the news video. And Monday's the day I would post it. So, so because of that, I'm going to be canceling next week's news for Well Weekly. Uh, just because I'll be on stream. And, um, and yeah. So definitely check the schedule. It'll be posted. I'm going to post it shortly after this video posts. Um, so I would say Monday night, between Monday, between Monday night to like Tuesday morning, it'll be posted on, uh, on the channel. So it'll be a lot of game show streams. I'm hoping for a few things. Uh, I'd love for them to announce the new Kingdom Hearts. Um, they did say that release date would be 2025. So, you know, realistically, this would be the time to possibly announce a release date, right? Yeah. Like, I know we're in 2024, but we're in the middle of it, right? Kind of approaching the end again so so yeah little nightmares 3 i'm interested in but i think we have a date for that do we let me look oh actually we do not have a date for that so that's another one that i would love to see i have heard that it got delayed to 2025 as well though but still you know Typically, if a game is going to release very early 2025, this is when it would get announced with a release date. So, yeah, because there's not really... This is the one big gaming show week that happens pretty much all year. There are some here and there that are like maybe 20 to 30 minutes long that happen. But, you know, yeah, this is the big one. So, yeah. So yeah, at the moment, those are really the only two things that I'm looking forward to. Um, you know, I mainly watch these shows for them to show me something new that might interest me. Um, another Final Fantasy game would be nice, but I guess they they put one out pretty recently. So I, I don't know. I guess we'll see. And um, And yeah, yeah. So... You know, and I, of course, watch them all because I own everything, right? I'm, I have a PC, I have an Xbox, I have a PlayStation, I have my, my, um, Switch. Uh, the Nintendo Direct is reported to be sometime in June, but they still haven't slapped down a date on it. It's almost like they don't even know what's going on. They don't realize all these companies are doing game shows. They're like, ah, eh, you have your week, you know? Which, to be fair, is almost genius. I'm just going to say, I think I would run it the exact same way if it was me. Because the reality is when there's all these shows all in the same week, then... The hype is really for all of it, not a specific, right? But if you throw your show like way later when nothing else is going on, then you are the center of attention, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I th I think uh, I think the way they do it is really good because usually nothing else is going on, so they get the most people, right? Yeah. So, so anyway, you know, a little random blab there. Uh, but point is that sometime in June, I will be streaming the Nintendo Direct as well. Just at this moment, they have not released a date, but I imagine they'll release one soon. Um, probably, my guess is it'll probably be somewhere in like the double digits. It'll probably be near the end of June. So since I won't have a news video next week, I'm going to tell you the birthday plan. So my birthday is on June 11th, which is a reset day. And I'm I'm not sure what I really want to do. I might just do a YouTube video. I have basically put it together that most of you guys are around my age. 
you know, you're you're somewhere between the late twenties to maybe sixty. I don't know. Some, you know, I, I know it's a huge gap there, <laughs> but but. In other words, you're an adult that has responsibilities, you have priorities, and Tuesday probably just isn't a great stream day, right? <laughs> like, just going to put it out there. Tuesday is the beginning of the work week. You're probably just kind of chilling, relaxing. I think it would be better to do it on a weekend. So, so I'm probably just going to put out like a YouTube video for Tuesday. And we'll do the birthday stream on that following Saturday, which will be June 15th. And uh, and I've got uh, possibly some some stuff going on for it. I haven't really decided what the theme, uh, you know, aside from birthday, <laughs> but I haven't really decided what we're doing. But, you know, the beta will be will be here. Maybe that would be something you guys would want to see. Um, so we, we will definitely make it wow. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that much. We will definitely make it wow. It can be a mix of stuff, maybe some remix, some beta, you know, yeah. And, uh, and then maybe I'll have a couple of fun activities. You, you guys know how it goes. Hopefully not too much goes on news wise this week. Um, for, for those that don't know how I operate, Usually, if I skip a week, I still will hold on to all the news that occurs that week and I'll report it in the next one. The next news video that you guys see will be on June 17th, and that will be two weeks of news, right? That will cover everything from now to then. Uh, so, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope you're having fun in WoW. The new trading post looks amazing. So lots of good stuff you can get there. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.